Let's increase your iPhone touch sensitivity. Now, if your iPhone is not registering touches or taps or swipes or any of those gestures, I'll walk you through the entire process. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's first head into the settings here. And let me go back. What we're going to do is swipe down and we're going to tap on accessibility. Now on here, you can see under physical and motor, the first option is touch. Let's tap on that and we'll walk through a number of different options on here. The first one is haptic touch. Let's tap on haptic touch. You can see the touch duration. You can choose the default or if you want it to be more sensitive, you can switch over to fast. Now keep in mind, this is when you touch and hold on something, how quickly you have to tap and hold on it for it to pop up. So slow, you can see I can tap and hold and it takes a lot longer to pop up. So you can switch out over to fast if you want to increase the sensitivity. Now, another option you have is to go to touch accommodations. Now, let's say this is turned on. If it is, then you can always adjust the hold duration. This is how long you need to touch and hold on something. You can do swipe gestures. You can ignore repeated uh, taps on here. So if I turn on ignore repeated, then essentially what this will do is if you tap multiple different times on the screen, it will re uh, ignore those multiple different taps and just count it as one tap. You can also have tap assistance. So if you want to use the initial touch or final touch, say the final touch here, that's if you tap multiple different times, it will take the last touch on there and count that as the actual touch. So if you want to go back to default, you can always just tap and turn off all of these. And another option that you have is if we can go, where is it? The tap to swipe or wake. If that is toggled off, then essentially if your iPhone is asleep, you won't be able to tap on it to wake it up. Make sure that is turned on. So by going through all these options, you can either choose to increase or decrease the sensitivity of your iPhone, essentially indicating whether you tap on something, should it register that tap or not, and basically how hard you need to tap or how long. Now, keep in mind, another potential issue is with your iPhone screen itself. So if your screen is really dirty or has something on it, or if you have a screen protector on there, I would recommend cleaning it really well or potentially even taking off and removing that screen protector because sometimes those can cause issues with your iPhone touchscreen and issues with your touchscreen on your iPhone itself, registering a tap or a swipe or anything like that. Now, if you're still having issues with ghost touches or it's just not sensitive enough or it's registering taps when you didn't mean to tap, then you can always take it into the iPhone Apple store and you can have them run diagnostics and see if there are any actual issues with your phone to replace your screen or your iPhone itself. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks.